Every day, a group of inmates at the Cook County Jail visits a very different side of the facility. It's called the Mental Health Transition Center. Our Noel Brennan takes us inside to show us how the help the inmates have been getting over the past decade works. I've been in jail maybe three or four times. We all get stuck in patterns, but if these men free their minds, freedom feels possible. All right, first thing first, gentlemen, welcome to Thank It For Change. This is not just a momentary thing. Thinking needs to become a behavior. Go and then back over here, go. I used to have a real messed up way of thinking. I done made plenty of mistakes. Corey Barbie. I'm learning from it. Is working on change. I'm putting it forth the effort to practice it for real. And so is Elkin Castillo. But I've been doing wrong all my life. That wrong became a normal thing to do. Five days a week, about 80 inmates at the Cook County Jail go to class. For a change, there are no jail cells inside the mental health transition center, just group circles. We help the men to change their core beliefs and their cognitive thinking through therapy, through one-on-one, through intensive psychotherapy groups. Morning, I'm Corbin. The program is voluntary. Like about a nine a day. But inmates are enrolled on a case-by-case -case basis. The goal of the program is to help inmates transition back into the community so they don't end up here again. The mission has not changed since it started 10 years ago. There's only a handful like us, literally. Sheriff Tom Dart launched the program in 2014, recognizing many inmates had mental health issues. Let's give them the treatment they would get as if they were on the outside. Three, two. Dart's office claims participants are far less likely to be arrested and rebooked. For me, it's just that hope that that person finally got the diagnosis they never got. They now have treatment that they've been given, in some cases medication, and they have this path now that is in front of them, for many will tell me, for the first time ever, and they can see it. For these men, it's a chance to change. The past gonna always be the past, but I got a chance to change the future. And that's the biggest blessing of the day. Noel Brennan, CBS News, Chicago. The sheriff's office says more than 2,700 people have gone through the program. About 480 former inmates participate in the alumni program and reconnect with the staff regularly.